We're going to do some diva trivia. I, I, I've heard you like divas. I do. <laughs> I mean, you. Who you, doesn't? You just named a bunch of them as your style icons. Yes. So, um, <laughs> Baby spies. <laughs> <laughs> is that what this is? Yeah, exactly. I'm channeling Emma Bunsen. <laughs> as an <M> spice. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That would be my spice name. Oh, um, I love that. All right. So let's start. Um, my first question. Pharrell has said that Britney Spears' song, I'm a Slave for You, was originally written for another diva. Who was it? Was it? They're all multiple oh, choice. Thank Don't God. worry. Okay. Um, <laughs> was it Janet Jackson, Jennifer Lopez, or Pink? I think it was Pink. It was not Pink. It was Janet Jackson. Oh. But Sanctify was kind of inspired by Slave for You, no? It was. I thought you were going to be like, Sanctify was originally written for Janet Jackson. I was like, was it? <laughs> I think I wrote that. Um, uh, yes, it was. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that would have kind of been amazing if Janet Jackson had done it. But obviously, we need to be thankful that Britney did it because Absolutely. it brought us into, it, you know, that's so the iconic. The moment at the VMAs. Yeah. I just, I f yeah, it was an inspiration for Sanctify. Mm -hmm. um, the like sexual abandon mm -hmm. that she has in that video and in that song was like, at the time for me, at that when I when I first saw the video and heard the song I was just like oh, like jaw hitting the floor like it was like the cr it was just it just you know really had an impact on me so like yeah. I kind of tried to channel a bit of that energy that's awesome I feel like that um, time period is kind of having a revival right now yeah like you hear it a lot on we just said m &E album you hear it um, I mean Troy and Charlie just released 1999 yeah um, and you were inspired by that in sync yes right? yes I was yeah yeah, and no, I, I did my homework. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I feel like you know, it's just a. I think a lot of the artists that you know are creating music at the moment. Like you always reference the stuff you loved when you were a kid and when you were younger. So I think that's kind of like natural that it's making its way through. Um, so yeah, I'm excited for like I want more like '90s inspired bops and early 2000s. I'm a big fan of that as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, well, so on the topic of Janet Jackson. Which of her iconic music videos inspired Azalea Banks' video for Anna Wintour? <gasps> okay. Was it Rhythm Nation, Pleasure Principle, or If? <laughs> no. It was Is it If? No. No. Nope. Pleasure, pleasure Principle. Yeah, Pleasure <laughs> Principle, um, which actually has gone on to inspire a lot of artists. Britney's stronger video, the chair scene, was inspired by Pleasure Principle. Oh um, yes. Okay. Normani, uh, Normani just did a choreography routine that was inspired by it. She so. she can nail a bit of choreo, Normani. She sure can. She's that, pretty amazing. That moment was that was a lot. Yeah. I'm, I'm excited to watch what happens with her. So I, have a, I haven't got a question right yet, have I? No, no but we've only done two out of six. Okay, okay. Um, this one might be easier. <laughs> Let's see. Um, which EDM artist samples Kylie Minogue's Get Out of My Way in his 2015 single, Cool? Uh-oh. Um, a, DJ Snake. B, Alesso. <laughs> C, Martin Garrix. <laughs> I have no idea. I B. I just okay. Thank you. Is I gave B? that to you. Yes. Oh, it was B. Yeah. Yay me. Ky Kylie is an artist that I feel like doesn't get a lot of respect in the United States. Oh. Um, I mean, she's great, but I, yeah, but she's she, not. She's not as big as she is. She's bigger in the UK. Yeah. Uh huh. But she did just do Pride here, so that was cool. She's like, so I was lucky enough to perform with her in a, at a concert she did, she did in the UK at Christmas like a couple of years ago, and she was like such a pro and so nice and lovely and me and my mum came and watched the show and then I did a song with her and then me and my mum watched the, the rest of the show and we were watching it and my mum said to me at one point she was just like it just gives you hope doesn't it <laughs> and it does yeah like she's literally giving us hope oh that's that's really sweet yeah so my next question Lady Gaga's stage name was inspired by a song by which of these rock music oh, okay, icons this one's easy. was it a queen b culture club or c prince queen it was queen what what song uh, Radio Gaga. Yeah. 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 I remember having to do that song once in choir and always thinking like, why didn't people know it's more that she took her name from this? But I guess people know. Everyone knows. You got knows. to sing that in choir like in school? Yeah. Radio Gaga. That's amazing. Radio Gugu. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I don't remember it. We did not get to do stuff like that at my choir. Mm. <laughs> um, all right. So this next question is about one of your faves, Rihanna. Yes. Um, which of Rihanna's music videos features cameos from three RuPaul's Drag Race alum? Was it Only Girl, Rude Boy, or S&M? 
It must be S and M. It is. Yes. Willem. God, I didn't know that. Though. Willem Detox and Morgan McMichaels are really. All like, they're dancing in the background. If you don't know it's them, you probably wouldn't know. Because it would be like pre Drag Race, um, right? For for Willem and Detox, I think it was. Morgan Ooh, had been on the show. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. Pretty cool. I love that video too. Um, so tell me about this. I, I know you've been doing like a lot of before Rihanna, after Rihanna. Yes. Like, what it what is this? So I met Rihanna a hundred and eleven days ago. Oh my god. I think <laughs> And uh, yeah, my life was changed forever. So BR is before I met Rihanna and then AR is after I met Rihanna. Amazing. <laughs> um, and that photo of you two. Yes. Like if you want to see a photo of pure joy. Of extreme happiness. <laughs> like, yeah. You are not containing yourself. It's just. It's I so know. Good. <laughs> it's such a good photo. Yeah. I'm, yeah. It's, um, some fans like gave me like it on like a key ring. So uh -huh. I like I have on a key ring now. I can just look at it whenever I want. Be like, that was me. Yeah. No, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, it's good because I don't remember the actual moment itself <laughs> because it was all such a blur. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. She's that's cool. That's really cool. So, our last question. Yes. Um, Kelly Clarkson's I Do Not Hook Up, co-written by another pop diva. Okay. Um, and this 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 uh, singer actually did record it. Um, who was it? Was it Pink, Katy Perry, or Gwen Stefani? Pink? Is actually Katy Perry. Uh, you met Katy. True. Though. Let's talk about that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I had this question. <laughs> yes. Um, well, she actually came to one of our really early shows in New York a few years ago, and um, she's like just been a like an early supporter of the band. Yeah. Recently, I went to go see her show in, and um, I don't. Have you seen the? Did you see the um, Witness show? I didn't. I didn't. Oh my God! Literally. <laughs> insane like she flies around on a planet okay. she there's like giant flamingos there's like a giant hand that she comes out of like every song there's like another crazy giant thing happening on stage wow. it's is impressive and like she she <laughs> kept, like nailed it like choreo singing she was really good like she got the vocals she yeah and so yeah and we hung out a little bit and um she's she's great like and i'm very like i just I just some uh, being around her, I'm just like I still have that thing where I'm like you're Katy Perry, but she's like totally chill and cool. But still, I'm just like you have so many Twitter followers. <laughs> well, you have so many Twitter followers. That's it. Yeah, that's the thing that does it for you. Um, <laughs> but between um, so uh, Katy and Rihanna, you gave them both copies of Palo Santo. Yes. Who got who got theirs first? Rihanna. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and then, and then, but but it was only the first one, and then the second one, Kate Katy Perry got. Right. And then Katy Perry was like, "Oh, who else have you given this record to?" And I was like, "It's just you and Rihanna." <laughs> she was like, "Who was first? She did this." Yeah. And I was like, "Rihanna." And she was like, "Okay." That was on Twitter, right? I'm not. Yeah, she, she yeah. tweeted about it. Yeah, yeah, she yeah. Instagrammed it. With so, all of her Twitter followers. It's cool. We're cool. Yeah. yeah. No, I was happy she Instagrammed <laughs> it because then I got some Instagram followers. Followers. <laughs> Cute. Thank you so much for coming today. Yeah, thanks for um, having me. Have a great tour. Yes. It's, if you haven't bought tickets yet, Buy definitely one. go see it. It's Buy two. He's great on stage. Great live band. Yes. Um, but also really great to watch their music videos, too. So don't do that. All right. But that's all we have time for. So Yay. Thank you.